My name is Richard Balch. I'm an extreme sport photographer. I get to travel to some really unique and crazy places in the world and shoot photographs of people doing outstanding stunts. We're on this tiny little island called Aranmore with a gang of slackliners from Germany and their speciality is to combine slacklining with insane landscape. We're out here on the water with the one inch crew to find this perfect location for their slackline. I'm here to capture the whole story. This journey to find this incredible slackline spot and do this stunt. This is the perfect chance for me to see what I can do with the ESR. When I heard about the ESR system, I was kind of excited to get it in my hands. The camera introduces a bunch of new technologies. I put the multifunction bar to ISO, so very quickly I can change the ISO. The lens controlling is kind of bringing back the classics to photography. I put it on the f-stop, so I can change the f-stop very quickly while I'm shooting. What this camera gives you is multiple options to perfectly customize it for your needs. I'm on the way to a beautiful cove over there. Our slackline crews, they build up a line. Let's see what they're up to. The idea for the shot is to be really low on the water with the camera. So I'm gonna jump on one of the kayaks, paddle to the scene, and then Alex is gonna walk over the ropes with flares in his hands. And they're gonna illuminate his face and hopefully the scene. We decided to shoot it late in the evening when the light was really low. It was really tricky for the exposure. How do you want to expose? For the flare, for the background? The EVF viewfinder really helped me to see the exposure, adjust a little bit, and then get the shot. Whoa. It was just magic. There was smoke all over the place. There was nice reflection of the light on his face, on the water, even on the slack line. It came in perfect. The game plan is to start up at the lighthouse, get the whole scene, then walk down, come here. For the last two hours, they built up this amazing line. And uh, to tell you, when we got there and looking down, I got goosebumps <laughs> because it looked so insane. The high line was the biggest challenge for the athlete because it is a stunt. What they do is they go in this zen mode where they kind of visualize the action. It's a very critical moment that I wanted to photograph, but I cannot get him out of his zone because then I ruin his stunt and I don't have a picture. What comes in really nicely with EOSR is that there's a silent mode. And silent doesn't mean it's a silent click, it means there is no click at all. I could still photograph in a moment where before I would have to put the camera away and just let it happen. I think at the end of the day, it allows you to just get a lot closer to your subject and to your scene. The big challenge today is to find a perfect spot to shoot a picture. The ideal shot would be to be down on the water, but to be in a boat, you cannot access this. Quite quickly, I found out that I have to be below the slack line. But how to do that? <laughs> I want to show the height you know, of this incredible stunt, and I want to make him read nicely against the background, which means I need to go low, and that means upsiling. In one way, you, you kind of win or lose the shoot in your basement when you prepare for the shoot. Rule number one is you can never be over-equipped. <laughs> to be honest, my legs are a little shaky, but for the shot, that's what you gotta do. Okay, you've been ready. When I'm out there shooting with these world-class athletes, they're gonna make precision moves. But they also expect for me to make precision moves. There's a great expectation from both sides to really nail it on the spot. ESR with the 28 to 70 is this unique package that allows you to do everything on this tiny little edge on the rock. Okay, got it. Super. Woohoo! What keeps me in the game of extreme sports for all these years is that there's still an always progression. To produce great images in this field, I think the number one quality is that you're just stoked about what you do. That's what your athletes will respect and that's what they feel very quickly, that you're on the same mission with them. The last three days have been super exciting to learn and understand what EOSR can do. I'm just really excited to see what else is there to discover, how to customize the camera to the ultimate perfect tool to push my photography even more.